I'm losing it. I'm I'm really losing it this period. But just pray for me, guys. And the band won't play. Media is just a virtual part of our life. The reality of our life, half of it, you guys don't see, you guys don't know. Hey guys, good morning and welcome back to the channel. This is the start of a new vlog. Now I know I'm coming to you guys, not in my very energetic self. You guys, I have been dealing with a lot. Like my mental health is this close to getting chattered. But guess what? I still believe that there is a God that exists and I am not giving up. Neither, neither am I going to back down. Not anytime soon. Not when I have a father that said I should knock and the door is going to be open. I should seek and I will find. I, I, I can't give up. Like I've just been dealing with so much, so much. I don't even want to start crying. It's just been a lot. But... We got to move anyways guys this morning in fact yesterday i almost passed out so i came back from work and i was in so much pains if you have dysmenorrhea very painful period cramps you would understand what i'm saying it's no joke i've been dealing with this thing for years and years and years and yesterday's one was so worse i don't know if it's the weather i don't know like i came back from work when i came back from work i i started throwing up i first of all i live by myself normally whenever things like this happen to me my family is always around my mom is always there to be with me at the hospital i have my sisters i have my siblings always there to support me, you know, and guide me whenever I'm having this period of pain. But since I moved to this country, I've been dealing with it just by myself. And yesterday's one was so much that I was so by myself and I couldn't get any help. I was just, I was just dealing with it. I was just throwing up and in my head I'm like what if I pass out here and nobody knows what's going on with me even the medication that was given to me did not seem to be working it was just so worse anyways this morning I woke up and I went to my GP with me I don't think anything is going on but it's just what it is I've been dealing with it for years but I just want to let you guys out there know that if you are dealing with painful menstrual cramps or you have people around you dealing with it you guys should be kind to them you guys should look out for them you guys should support them as much as you can support them encourage them to go to the hospital you never can tell what it is i'm very sure it's nothing but my gp said i need an ultrasound and whenever that's going to happen i'm going to share it with you guys but but for now it is what it is yeah welcome back to the channel don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment in the comment section this is the start of a new vlog and yeah pray for me guys pray for me because i'm losing it i'm i'm really losing it this period but just pray for me guys yeah i want to go to church now and that's usual i don't take you guys inside church but let's go guys hello hello guys i know you guys you guys saw me crying and whatnot. Not like I'm feeling better, but you guys know that the energy needs to call back. First and foremost, we are in charge of our emotions. We tell ourselves how we want to feel. We bring out ourselves from any situation. We are in charge of our happiness. We are in charge of our sadness. Even sometimes when we are drifting, we need to go back to the drawing board and look at where did we start? Where, in fact, look at where we started from and where we are right now. Like... <laughs> <laughs> the difference is clear so yeah and the good thing is my parents actually called me and my dad spoke to me okay my mom spoke to me as well you know even my younger brother was like big sis how far i know you're going through a lot at this moment but i trust you to always bounce back bigger and better and my dad reminded me that i have a god who listens i have a god who likes giving me the best a God that does not shame me. So whatever I'm going through, to the being. Because my God has said it in his words. 
I will never leave you alone. He's going to open doors even when it seems like it is closing. On a very good day, I'm going to sit down here and share with you guys what I have been going through. Because bro, <laughs> even yourself, you go choke. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to come and tell you guys that we have a nice sponsor for this video. And this video is sponsored by no other person than Astra Watch or Astra Straps. Okay? <clears throat> now, Astra Straps, they are like a company. They are in charge of different kind of straps for your wristwatch. And today, they have been kind enough to send me a strap for my watch. So, I'm going to be testing the strap today. And we're going to be seeing how it suits my hand and I'm going to be showing you guys what's in this package Every information you need about Astra straps is going to be in my description box You don't need to be going about using the same watch The same strap for your watch all the time, but you can use the same watch all the time Now my watch is milkish or whitish in color There's some outfits that I wear and I'm like this watch is not giving me the vibe I want So Astra strap has sent me a gold strap which I'm going to be trying on so you guys can buy various kind of straps instead of buying from Apple you guys know that I went to Apple to buy a strap and the amount they told me for that strap it choked me and guess what it was less than a week that I went to Apple to ask for a strap and my father in heaven told Astra strap message this girl she's in need of a strap so yeah use my code showing on your screen to order yourself an Astra strap okay change your watch you don't need to change the strap you need to confuse your enemies now and forever so let's get into the strap changing okay yes 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 <laughs> straps when i do this one can you guys see the way my wrist just transformed take a go take a look at me look at me now like i don't need to worry myself if i'm going for an event anymore whether my good jewelry are going to match with my wrist watch because babies astro straps got you guys covered so head on to their link go to my description box use my discount code to get something from astra straps today you guys know i bring you guys to bless What's wrong with my English today? <laughs> you guys know that I bring you guys the best plugs. Nothing but the best plugs. So if you have bought something from Astra Strap before, or you buy something from Astra Strap, please do let me know. And they have different kinds of straps for different kinds of watches. Okay? Yeah. Let's continue with the video. I'm actually seeing this hunt game true and <laughs> I've laughed my head off. Yes, guys, let's continue. <laughs> hey guys and welcome back again to the channel okay how's everybody doing so it's my break time and i decided to come and have a chat with you guys yeah i have one question the question is why is it that during winter period that is when everybody begins to call in sick is it that the weather is too cold or the snow is too much or people are just they don't want to just come out and work or what i want to know the reason behind people not coming out during winter to work because the amount of shifts that you see during winter period is a lot and it just puts a lot of stress on other people that are coming out to work because this is the the, the, the weather have not started to becoming cold 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 and people are calling in sick left right and center but it is what it is at least it's giving us the opportunity to make more money so that we are going to be answering below here yeah. on your good chat shopping and spending the money there is no mess to put money yes so i just wanted to ask that question if you have an answer to that question please let me know in the comment section please and please and please and please a lot of people has reached out to me i know someone reached out to me one time all the way from manchester that people are talking about me mm -hmm. now another person has reached out to me all the way from london that people are talking about me 
What have I done to you people? Now, somebody even reached out to me to say that they pay me 25 pounds per hour. I beg, I beg, I beg. Where in the world have I ever said how much I'm being paid whatever I'm working? To earn that much in this country, you guys, I will not have problem. I will start building my shop back home. Please, please, please. And I've heard some of you have said good things about me. Thank you so much. But please, I'd rather you give out the information that you really, really know. You say the things that you really know. You don't have to paint a picture that you're not sure of because you think you know me. I share what I think is important and what I think is personal to me, I don't share. Okay? That's how we are. Social media is just a virtual part of our life. It's not really what is happening. It's, it's what is happening in our lives, but it's a virtual part of our lives. So, you guys should just please take it easy on most of us when you're giving out information because you might be saying oh i earn 25 pounds i earn 30 pounds per hour person will see me kidnap me when she she i know they earn when when my pay slip comes it's like peanuts compared to the amount of hours and time that i'm putting into the job so i just want to let you guys know that you guys should take it easy and for those of you that have been saying good things about me oh i've inspired you thank you so much for those of you that have said i've changed six jobs i beg i beg i beg i beg where and how have i ever said i have worked in six places please let's be guided please 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 i beg you people in the name of jesus okay so if you don't know information and you want to get information you ask and if i'm willing i'm going to share but don't start telling other people that i yet to know who i am the things that you don't know just because you want to claim that you know von vicky okay but yeah thank you so much for those of you that reach out those of you that say good things those of you that are like mm, thank you so much i really appreciate you guys so much anyways my break time is over and i will catch up with you guys later peace out <music>guys and welcome back again to my channel it's a brand new day okay yeah so this segment of the video is proudly sponsored by magic bra okay magic bra they are not new on this channel they've come before and they've come back again to tell us that the girlies the titties need to be supported anyways magic bra provides you with comfortable bras be it strapless bra, be it push-up bra, be it bras that will cover your back, especially if you have back fat and you don't want to be wearing bra and your bra is digging into your fat, the magic bra got you covered. So they've sent us this or they've sent me this magic bra and in here you have the bra, okay? They thank you and this says thank you for your purchase your items have been wrapped and sent with all the care and attention that you deserve thank you magic bra i really needed to hear that so yeah this is what the car looks like and they have kindly sent me a comfortable push-up bra and this is what the bra is looking like now this is what i told you guys remember in my last video they sent us a strapless bra where you can use to wear your handless clothes and this one they have sent us so that's us that have back fat even if you don't have back fat you have the perfect bra for you this can also substitute as a gym bra for me personally okay now you can wear this over your head or you can use the buttons around here to wear the bra and this is my exact color okay so yeah use the link in my description box below to order something for magic bra and the thing i like about their bra is that it is so durable it does not have spoke you know that iron thing that's usually in bra you don't get it from on with magic bra and it doesn't have a lot of pad but yet it is a push-up bra so make sure to use the link to get something from magic bra this kind of bras are the bras that you buy and you're gonna be here for years okay you're going to get value for your money's worth you're going to get what for your money value for whatever you're going to get value for your money okay make sure to use my code bonviki20 which is on your screen to get yourself something for magic bra today okay and make sure that your titties are smiling and thanking you later yeah ha, to the cocoa of why we are here today we are going to be talking about loneliness living abroad now we're going to be placing it on single people that are lonely and living outside of their home country 
now you guys a lot of us are dealing with a lot i know i come out here i'm partying i'm happy i'm jumping i'm gyrating and whatnot and people think oh life is easy for von Vicky. life is not as it seems social media is just a virtual part of our life the reality of our life half of it you guys don't see you guys don't know now plenty of people have come out to make videos about loneliness there was this um trending video on instagram it's a while ago about a young girl in canada crying so badly that she feels lonely nobody's checking up on her and whatnot now there's another video of tina i saw her when she made a video of saying talking about skilled immigrants in, um, in canada and what they go through now if you don't know tina i saw her she's a youtuber based in canada Okay, she moved from Nigeria on the PRU um, visa and she moved to Canada. And she spoke about how she's been struggling to get her life together. Now, this is somebody that is married and she has two kids. Now, talk about people that are not even married and they are navigating this life by themselves outside of their home country. Now, let's use myself as an example. You all know that I don't come here to give you guys negative vibes. It's all about positive, positive vibes. But I think it's high time that we spoke about this. Now, why am I speaking about this personally? Watching all these people's videos, it has motivated me to talk about it because I have a couple of friends that has reached out to me and I'm like, and I'm and they're like, how far? How are you? And I'm like, I'm dealing with something. Like, eh, me too, I'm dealing with something. They don't understand the intensity of what we deal with, especially those of us that are outside of our comfort, uh, those of us that are outside of our home country. Now, I don't have a family. I'm not married. My siblings are not here. My parents are not here. I am navigating this life here by myself. Nobody to call when it's time for emergency. Because again, I am doing it by myself. And when I'm telling somebody, oh, I'm going through a lot, I believe you should be kind to me and to other people that probably would be feeling this way. You don't need to start comparing yourself when you're back home and you have the support you need. I know finances and whatnot are not great back home in my country but yes when you have people that are there for you if i am sick guys i am the one doing it there was the day when i talked about my dysmenorrhea i came back from work i literally passed out after throwing up now when i recovered i was the one that had to stand up to clean my vomit i had to stand up to clean my environment i had to stand up to take a shower I have to stand up to go and prepare food for myself. Remember the video of where I talked about cutting my hand? I was the one that had to treat my bleeding. I was the one that still made sure that my house was arranged. I was the one that still made sure that there is food in this house for me not to go out and do all those things. Now, someone will say, why not call the A and E or why not go to the A and E or why not go to the GP? Nobody who gets strength, they go A and E. Nobody who gets strength, they call ambulance. Now, when Tina made this video, I could resonate with her in so many things about her feeling lost, about her um, having a lot of experiences back home and she could not put it in Canada um, work system. Just about her suffering, about her feeling, I don't know the word to use. Now, I'm just trying to say in essence, you guys should learn to be kind to people that are outside of their home country. I'm very grateful though. I am very grateful that I am here. I'm very grateful of the life that I have here. But do I have that support system that I need? The Bible says two heads are better than one. He was not mistaken when he said that. And now this is the time that I really do understand that two heads are better than one. Now it's not two heads of husband and wife or two heads of anything. Two heads could be two heads of you and your family members, two heads of you and your siblings, two heads of you and your flatmates. Because it is real. I remember when Zubi was around, like, I could come back from work and there's food in the house. I could come back and I would lament, ah, look at what happened. Even though she does not even understand what I'm talking about, there was that person I could relate with. And if I come back, she can be like, ah, almost today, rain beats me, yo. Now, it's different when we see ourselves face to face and we have these conversations than when we have it over the phone. Now, Tina went ahead and saying, oh, she asked for leave of absence from work because she was struggling. She needed to, at some point, see a therapist, which most of us don't do where we are from. But they couldn't grant it to her. And that is one thing I'm thankful for the UK for. Now, bless God bless my manager. When I was dealing with what I was dealing with, because before, before this video comes up, I am 100% that I serve a living God and my problems are in the good. Okay? Now, when I was dealing with it, I remember her constantly telling me to take annual leave. Who refused to go on annual leave? Me. Because if I go on annual leave, it makes my problems worse. 
I'd rather be in a space and work it out, like keep going to work, even though I'm sad, than just be home and, you know, dwell in my tears and in my sadness. Now, I remember being sick and even as much as this menstrual pain, if I call in work and I'm telling them, oh, my menstrual, because it has, it, and tell them, oh, I'm having menstrual pain, I still get paid for it because I am genuinely unwell to come to work. Now, she said, even there in Canada, the sickness, whatever, whatever, was not working out for her. She had to leave her job. And this is what so many people are going through in this country now or in diaspora as a whole. Now, a lot of us just come out here and you don't even know what people are dealing with. I'm just telling, I'm saying personally to people that are back home, show love to your family, show love to your friends that are outside. Don't think, oh, everything is okay for them. Don't think because you're seeing social media, it means their life is 100%. They are dealing with a lot. Now, imagine having a friend that cannot take absence of work. She has to go to work. She cannot take sick leave because she has to go to see them. Um, she has to go to work. She has 15 years of experience in public health, but she cannot put it into the system and make good use of what she has known all her life. But she has to go to work. But she still has to come out here and put up a smiley face and say everything. It's okay. Now you have people that are struggling to change jobs. Let's talk about people in domiciliary care that are struggling with their employers, but they still have to send you money back home. They still have to smile and tell you everything is okay. What I'm trying to say that loneliness is real. I resonated with that lady's um, video, especially because she's single. Now God has blessed me with that ability of staying by myself. So even when the going goes rough, I'd rather just call people like Grace and Zuby and be like, I beg, I beg, I beg. I'll run from morning till night and they'll be listening to me, even though they're facing their own problems. We don't even want to talk about mothers and the things they have to go through, especially single moms that are outside of their home country. So yeah, you guys should just, just show love, just be, just be kind, just, 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 check up on your people just know how they are doing genuinely you don't have to start comparing and say hey, nobody you just go abroad nobody you do this nobody you do that everybody is fighting for something okay don't come and put your own wala on top of their own head so yeah i just thought to come and share this um give my two cents on all these things and if you need to see tina's video um, um her name is tina you saw her go and watch her video and you're going to really understand what i am talking about yeah enough of the rambling guys peace out don't forget to subscribe and like and share and leave your comments in the comment section how is loneliness dealing with you are you lonely do you have a great community i'm really thankful for you actually do you have a great community do your people come through for you like them that are rank or are your people those people that think that your life is okay so they are in a competition of we checking up on each other but yeah and this is a shout out to my parents thank you so much mommy and daddy because i know you guys watch my video thank you so much for being a great support system to me thank you to my siblings even my little siblings the way they, they come through for me is just so amazing so thank you sweethearts your second mommy loves you guys so much okay so yeah i hope you all have like a great support system around you von vicky signing out to the next clip peace out <laughs>